St. Lucia is being proactive in ensuring it will be able to respond adequately in the likelihood of an infestation of citrus canker, a devastating pest which attacks various plant species of citrus genus. For the time being, it has been identified in the British Virgin Islands and Martinique and is not known in any other Caribbean islands. A citrus canker tabletop simulation exercise was held here recently. Hannah Romaine is the Chief Plant Research Officer and served as facilitator for the simulation. We chose citrus canker because we thought that it is present currently in Martinique and um, it is a major threat to our citrus industry. We do, un we do understand the nature of the disease, how easy it can be um, spread and we wanted our stakeholders to be aware of this disease and we wanted them to know that they too must come on board with us or would like them to come on board with us rather and of course we needed to see whether they were aware of their roles and responsibilities in the event that there is an incursion of this disease. Massey Stores is one of the largest purchasers of citrus on island. Its perishables manager Dunstan DeMille was a participant during the simulation exercise. We have to try and make everybody understand what part they would play if we were to notice um, this disease anywhere in St. Lucia. We are large buyers of citrus and we, you know, can play our part too in helping the, the, the country and our whole deal with that once we notice that. Also, we can have surveillance on the ground that could help us notice if there's a possibility that the, the, the disease is here already. So um, knowing that customs and, um, and um, the marine police and some other key agencies were here, I think it, it made for a very, very interesting um, conversation, a very interesting discussion among all of us, you know, knowing that we must approach that together. We, everybody would have a part to play, but we must approach it together. We cannot be working in isolation. With the disease already found in Martinique, border surveillance will be crucial in the efforts to keep the country rid of the citrus canker plant disease. Overall, the session was very interactive. I find that all agencies, um, I believe there should have been more agencies involved. And I believe that um, it was quite fruitful and I was happy actually to make a contribution and then to ask questions to seek clarity on certain issues that I found, you know, were a bit, a bit um, needs, um, needed um, clarification. Yeah, what it has caused is um, that we need to now to increase our monitoring and surveillance um, um, approaches. And I hope that the authorities will look into that to, to help us to um, put in more resources to help us um, achieve that goal. One of the most consistent citrus farmers in St. Lucia is Johnson St. Amy. He is on the alert for any signs of citrus canker. My main concern to that is what we can do to prevent it. That's what my main concern is, and I don't even get it yet. You know, I, we know it's coming, but our main, my main concern is what we can do to protect our field. The simulation exercise was intended to prevent the entry of citrus canker into the country, sensitize and train technicians, producers and other key stakeholders in the prevention of the entry, spread and establishment of the pests and the management of the emergency response should citrus canker be detected and established. From the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, I'm Ryan O'Brien.